What's up everybody, 915 Mang here, hanging out with you guys today. Today I wanted to do a good informational video for you. Kind of show you like what I did as far as installing a UV. I placed an order with Bulk Roof Supply and I ended up getting a free 20 ounce cup from them. It was pretty cool. I ended up spending about 280 for this uh, 40 watt ice cap UV uh, sterilizer for those of you who are wondering this thing is beneficial to your tank it cleans parasites algae fungi and supposedly it won't affect the beneficial colonies or the filter media one thing to know I went with ice cap which is an off brand of coral view and the reason why I went with the ice cap is I felt like I was getting more money more bang for my buck with them so I'm going to show you what it comes with and then I'm going to show you exactly how I installed it in this uh, video. What I did like is it came with lots of options to mount it. One fitting that I like is it comes with this barb fitting. Whatever size hose you want to use, you can. It comes with the ballast, which I'll, we'll talk about here later on. The overall feel of the ice cap UV sterilizer is it's pretty solid. It doesn't feel cheap, even though um, the price tag isn't as expensive as some of the other name brand sterilizers. In the end, this is a 40 watt UV. It should do the, the job. So follow along and I'm going to show you exactly what I did. Like I said, to make uh, mounting options a lot easier. They also have different kind of options, mounting options. They have the hang on back UV filters. I think those are pretty good if you're going to go with like a nano tank, um, nothing this big. Um, my size tank is a 150, so I went ahead and went with the 40 watt UV. The lamp life is a thousand hours and the bulb price isn't too expensive. I think I saw it for 30 to $40 a bulb and basically you'll be changing that out once a year. You will need to buy the hose that you want and you will also need to buy the return pump that you want. You can make a manifold or something like along those lines, but you will need to buy a hose and a return pump. Now let's take a look at the hose. Uh, so you can see if you decide to go with the ice cap, you won't have to guess, but this is what I got. I got this stuff. The inside di diameter is three quarters and the outside diameter is one inch, just regular clear tubing. Um, I got me some PVC pipe cutters and the pump that I went with uh, is right there, um, which is the SDC Synchra 3.0. That pump, you can find it about $249. Shop around the holidays because they usually give a discount. The cement that I use is just PVC cement. The cure time is two hours. And this is what it kind of looks like broken down. I just want to show you like it comes with a union. So that's great. And the way what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the included uh, fittings right there. All the guesswork is taken out. Like I said, all you have to do is follow my video. If you get the ice cap, if you like the way that I did it, follow along. The cure time when you use glue, it takes two hours to fu fully cure the glue for it to dry up for it to be safe I ended up using this glue and then I just left it for 24 hours before I did anything else I had to walk away from this project quite a bit of times you know just kind of looking at my tank trying to figure out what I was gonna do how I was gonna mount it so the cool thing for you guys is all you have to do is follow along the video see what you like kind of give you a better idea of what to do and what to expect. I glued the two pieces away from the fitting because uh, this is a um, union and you don't want to get any of that glue in that rubber washer. Moving right along to the lamp. The lamp is a UV light. You do not want to look at this with your bare eyes. Try not to look at it at all. But I would like to tell you it is a germicidable lamp with an electronic ballast from B-Sun. Uh, one cool thing about this ballast, if something's wrong, it's not going to turn on. It's 
gonna sh it's gonna give you a alarm okay the light is not gonna be green it's gonna be red and I'll show you that in a minute let's talk about the next part is the pump that I went with I went with the Synchra it's the SDC Synchra 3.0 also about 249 uh, like I said it has 7.5 feet of max head it's silent what I like about this uh, pump it, it ranges from 260 gallons per hour all the way up to 800 gallons per hour it's Wi-Fi you can get an app with it if you want which I don't I just have the standard plug-in and I just have it running like that so I just want to show you exactly what it comes with um, so far I am pretty impressed with it it is such a small pump I thought it was gonna be way bigger because of the flow that it's capable of but it's a small little pump and it does actually do a pretty good job with the UV so let me know about your UV experience how long you guys you've been using UV in your tanks some of the benefits what do you like about it what you don't like about it for me this is gonna be the first time that I run UV in my tanks in about the 10 years of reefing that I've been doing I just never did it I've always thought it was pretty complicated but this video hopefully it will help you out so make sure you hit that like subscribe and you share it with your buddies you're gonna see all these crazy options of these guys telling you don't pit it here don't pit your outlet or your return there do whatever you want that's convenient for you what I did have to do is I had to get my hole saw and I drilled into my wooden stand and the reason why is because I'm gonna use the outlet of my UV as a return pump into my 20 gallon long frag tank uh, right now I had a cheap cheap little small pump and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this baby as my return pump for my frag tank so I'm kind of killing uh, two birds with one stone the great thing about the UV that I, I have is I had absolutely zero leaks which is awesome uh, you can see that I use a safety clamp right there uh, when I turned it on because I was expecting some sort of leak and all I did was hand tight I didn't over tight I didn't do nothing crazy um, I didn't even use that Teflon tape this whole UV project took me about two to three days because like I said I did I walked away from this project like two to three times first time is when I was just like trying to figure out how exactly I was going to mount my UV. I decided to mount it right there on the bottom of my tank because when it comes down to yearly maintenance, I don't want to mess around and take these clamps off. Um, that was option number one. Um, the return pump, I put it inside with my other return pump. So I'm kind of listening to how they're saying as far as getting the water source. By the time it hits my return pump, and it hits that first inlet and then it's gonna go out to the outlet of my going up to my frag tank it's already gone through my system you know my overflow from my frag tank is draining into my protein skimmer but I don't see a problem with it if you do go ahead and drop me the comments below like I said this is my first time running it in any reef tank that I've ever had um, even with the flow on the pump all the way up, you can't even hear it. So Ceche does make some really nice uh, pumps and I would consider them as having them as my return pump in the future. I also got some metal hose clamps um, just to be tightened up a little bit on the UV sterilizer part. I didn't want to use any plastic um, hose clamps and I didn't want to use any kind of zip ties or anything like that. You know, these uh, stainless steel hose clamps are going to be great it's not going to make any contact with the water and actually I don't even have the lamp connected which is great um, it is kind of a little bit of a wire mess like a major wire mess which I will go ahead and clean it up a little bit later but I'm really happy that I have zero links as far as the uh, mounting options for the UV it does come with these clamps but I just kind of rotated them to the side to hold up the UV so that it doesn't move around or, or roll. 
I was able to close my cabinet and it's great because it's flowing into my 20 gallon long and that is my return pump right there. Like I said, I was using the smallest pump from my 150 all the way up to my 20 gallon, which that tiny pump could barely do any kind of flow. The reason I went with a little bit of a flow is so it would be silent. Even with this flow right now, my eShop's overflow is handling it great. It's not even making any kind of noise. So I'm pretty happy with the, my project so far. I will come up with a little bit, something better as far as the return part of the UV sterilizer running to my frag tank, uh, getting rid of that little safety clamp. Um, but for now it is working. I would like to get some uh, leak detectors for my Neptune Apex, uh, just so I can know, have a little bit more uh, peace of mind in case there's any kind of leak with some kind of safety feature that will turn that pump off. Get yourself a silver Sharpie so you can write on your wires. Um, like I said, uh, I'm gonna organize this. I wrote exactly what everything goes to, my lamp, my skimmer, my two does, my pumps, and you can just write on it with a silver Sharpie uh, so that way you, you can be able to fix everything. Now, I think this looks pretty cool. It looks like the flux capacitor from uh, Back to the Future. This is a shot of it at night and it, it does look pretty cool with all the glowing features, especially it being inside of your stump. You can see the lamp, you can see where the flow is coming into the UV and where it goes to the output to the tank. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this video. Take it easy.